very lightweight. These are around 0.9 mm in width. These aluminum metal strips uh, got it from the scrap just to support the fan in the center of the box. I need it to a bolt decent adapter which gives power supply. This is a 3.5 mm jack that will never have a market. This is the DC power pin which several dimensions will just be connected to the motor. This is the motor connected from the scrap itself and the wire itself salvaged from the Nokia old charger. So I connected the motor I have connected this DC pin and I need this power switch for on off and I bought this tram from the local market it's around 40 rupees so maybe 0.6 dollars so let's get started so first of all we need to measure the diameter of that fan but the just I got a scale uh, it is around uh, 7 point it's around 7.2 mm, however, the radius of this is almost 14.5 cm. So, so, I take it up to 70 so that we give 1 cm either side for allowance. I take 100 piece so that I can measure it up to 17 cm. Now, I take it. I will cut along the line so that I will make this tab of two pieces each side. I cut into two pieces, which is 17 centimeters for one side and 19 centimeters each for another side. Our box is ready. Before joining it, we need to put the motor at the center. For that purpose, I made this metal strip from this. You can use any scrap material you can use to bend this. After that, I have a small piece which again connects like this. I did attach this uh, clamps using two small screws which I have salvaged from old laptop. So I fix the motor like this. Now it comes in between my box. Now this comes in between like this. After fixing this it seems like this only. So. We need to attach these joints, after that it will look very nice. After nailing the corners, I fix it using two screws. Now the box frame is ready. After fixing the four corners, now it looks 